The Indana residents have been calling for proper roads for years. Before it was ruined, the road had no markings or traffic lights. Now part of the road is gravel and riddled with potholes. In the past week, residents have been protesting over the state of roads in the area, saying they are dangerous. They ruined this road. We were surprised to see them removing tar and making this a gravel road. That is not what we were expecting. Between five to seven people died in this road. We were promised that by September, the construction would have started, but nothing has been done up until now. Promises, promises only. Just now, we have uh, called the mayor to come, but we have been told that she's scared to come. She feels unsafe among us. We don't know because we are the ones who voted her into public office, but she's scared to come to us. We don't know what to do, really. Uh, our cars are breaking down every now and then. Uh, what they do now, they bring traffic officers to come and arrest us, uh, claiming that our cars are not roadworthy. Drivers currently use one lane when going to Butterworth to avoid the gravel on the other lane. Tourism and businesses have also been affected. We need the road. As the mayor promised when we had engagements with her previously, I think it was around August, and we were promised that this road, the, the appointment of the next contractor will be done speedily so that there can be movement in this road. We even asked the mayor that at least if we can have their in-house construction to help us. This road affects the wheels of our cars. We get into accidents because of this road. Ever since it was ruined, there has been an increase in road accidents. And it's not like they do not notice. Even the mayor is from here. They know this problem. The transport department says the previous contractor abandoned the project due to liquidation. Processes to appoint a new contractor are underway and this is expected to cost about 50 million rand. Residents say they won't allow traffic officers to work on this route until its completion. Luandi Lembulali, Tentane in the Eastern Cape.